biodegradable plastic. So thank you very much. Hi. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about biodegradable plastics. Now, uh, they don't sound like the most fun thing, but uh, I find it interesting. And um, I'd like to draw your attention to this picture here. Uh, I feel, and in my opinion, it is it sums up many of the problems that our Western society has felt in the latter 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century. Um, our culture has become one of uh, mass consumption, of, of convenience, and we want everything to be there and we want it right now. And, it, and it's very much had an effect on our environment, as we all know. Now, um, just before I move on to the next bit, I would, I would just like you to um, look around the room and see how many things you can find that are made of plastic or have components that are made of plastic. And I'm very, I'm very sure that it's going to be a lot more than you think. But now, the first thing that I came across in my um, extended project wasn't that was space. Uh, it was uh, trying to distinguish what plastics actually are. Because in the Oxford Dictionary, it said plastics are materials that can just be moulded in, in some way. And there is actually a lot more behind it. So I've got four pictures here that do illustrate things to do with plastic. So we have a plastic bottle, a plastic blood bag, and uh, interestingly, there has been some recent developments in um, actual plastic blood, which I can't really go into now, I don't really have the time, but it's, but it's really interesting. And Lara, not actually made of plastic, she's just like the rest of us, but there are four things in this picture on her that are made of plastic. And there's her goggles, there's her gloves, there's her lab coat, and there is one other thing that I would like you guys to try and guess. So anyone have any ideas? <laughs> what? You're a wig. <laughs> uh, you know, very close. And I'm sure Lara's going to marry Her hair, yes, her hair. Now, <coughs> I found this absolutely fascinating, but our hair is made from a polymer form of the protein keratin. Now, um, elephant's tusks also contain this protein. Now, in chemistry, plastics are polymers. Now, to demonstrate what polymers are, I have some lovely volunteers who are going to come up and be molecules for me. So, would you like to come to the front and try and demonstrate to you what polymers are? So, we have four individual molecules, and they're all of the same chemical. Now, under a quite complex process called polymerization, each of these individual molecules reacts and becomes one long chain molecule. It's, it's known as a chain reaction. So if I were to react them all together, would they like to polymerize? <laughs> now they retain much of the properties of the original molecules, but they are now one long chain. Now this alters their properties drastically. Like if this were to be chemical ethene, which is very volatile and um, becomes a vapor very quickly, it is actually what makes up our plastic bottles. So it's clear that the individual molecules cannot make this up. But by polymerizing them together and getting a long chain molecule, we are able to have plastic water bottles, which I'm sure a lot of you use every day. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Now, my project was about biodegradable plastics. So I need to outline what biodegradation is. Now, I think this picture illustrates it really quite well. Now, biodegradation is effectively like us eating food. Bacteria, that one over there, break down materials in order for them to have energy. Now, this is a very, very new, well, not particularly new, but a very radical idea in terms of plastic. Because as we have all heard from the media, plastics stay very much stay in the ground for a very long time after they've been used. They don't break down, and this is because scientists have made them this way. Not intentionally, it's just happened. Now, if a plastic were to break down in the ground in the same time frame as say an apple would, it would drastically decrease landfill space needed, and it would make our waste a lot more eco-friendly. Now this may seem like a fantastic idea that we all want biodegradable plastics, but um, during my research I did come across a few problems. <coughs> um, the first being, 
quite a mundane and bureaucratic one of standards. Now, there are two main standards on biodegradable plastics and the time that something can be classified as biodegradable. There is the International Organization of Standards one, which says that 60% of degradation must take place within 180 days. And then there is the European Committee for Standardization, which says 90% of degradation must take place within six months. Now, six months and 180 days, we can do maths, are exactly the same space of time. Now, I feel that this would have a very negative impact on the sustainability of biodegradable plastics. Because without a clear standard, we cannot define whether something is biodegradable or not. Just like if we can't, didn't have a clear standard for colours, we wouldn't be able to say that that exit sign is green. We'd all be having an argument over whether the exit sign is green or not. Now, if a plastic were to emerge that degraded in 75% in six months, in the international standards organisation eyes, this would be deemed good enough to be advertised as biodegradable. Whereas in European standards, it would not, not be able to, it's just simply doesn't meet the standards. So, in Europe, it could not be advertised as such. And then we would have a problem with dealing with waste, because biodegradable plastics contaminate normal plastics recycling cycles and makes them totally unusual, unusable. <coughs> also, there is issue with how they break down. The, most biodegradable plastics are something called oxo-degradable. This means that they must be in the presence of a high percentage of oxygen, or one that is in our normal atmosphere, or in a lab. So in a lab, they would break down perfectly fine. But in landfill, the oxygen levels are much lower. And thus, the bacteria cannot break down the plastic effectively. So if we had a plastic that broke, broke down 90% in six months, that was also degradable, in a landfill site, this wouldn't be the reality. It would take much longer, it would, there would be many complications, you could have other reactions taking place that could produce toxins, which just wouldn't be that great. Now, my next part of my essay was looking directly at things that affect the sustainability of plastics. <coughs> now, this molecule here is lactic acid. So when you're out on a run and you stop and your legs start to ache, this is the chemical that makes you ache. Now it is very, very, a very revolutionary chemical in terms of plastics because um, when I was contacting industry and people at universities, polylactic acid was the biodegradable plastic that was being used at the moment and it seemed to be great. Now it goes under a long process because it needs to be changed quite a lot before it, becomes before it can become a polymer. But um, this polymerized form of lactic acid is very easily broken down by bacteria in the ground, so any waste, plastic waste made from this that was put into the ground would break down quite quickly. And um, I found this quite interesting. I went to the Science Museum and um, they had a phone made out of this plastic that would if we put it into a compost heap, would break down in 180 days. Which I think is pretty awesome. Now, it, what makes this polylactic acid very sustainable is two things. Firstly, when it breaks down, it breaks down into chemicals that are very easily brought back into the ecosystem and can be used in when plants grow and then something might eat the plant and then it just, it just, they just become integrated back into our ecosystem. And also, Polylactic acid can be sourced very easily from plants. What industry does at the moment is it takes corn and uh, it puts it in a big vat with some bacteria that breaks down the corn to produce the lactic acid and this can then be siphoned off and made into plastic. Now, because